Yo, what's good? Let's check out the new episode of Don't Toy With Me, Miss Nagatoro. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I have to say it like that every time. <laughs> Logo reveal. If you want to talk about anime and manga, follow me on Twitch and Twitter at Joe Freshes. Links for both of those in the description below. And the YouTuber things, like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. The first episode of this anime was putting me off, man. <laughs> she was bullying him hard, bro. This is some shit that like, I could not stand to see. Like the fact that it was in anime form was the only reason I was able to stomach it. If somebody acted like that towards someone in real life, I would cut off the video and immediately want to beat the shit out of them. Girl, boy, I don't care, man. That's just like, why would you act like that to somebody? But it's an anime and it's a story. It's not real life. So I kept going with it because it's supposed to get wholesome. Second episode, Second episode was pretty funny. <laughs> it was it was pretty funny. And I think that we're starting to get a little glimpse at Nagatoro and this wholesomeness that everyone's speaking of. So let's go check out this third episode and see where it goes. Dude, does it always start with him like doing art, bro? Dude, he is like done. Okay, this time he is making his glasses. Oh, dude, he is pretty good, not gonna lie. Glasses, some sort of like towel uh, and, and two blocks. One's a cylindrical block and one's a cubical block. Pretty good. <laughs> Why not draw a person, dude? It's not like she's getting naked, bro. Relax. You could draw her. It's not that big of a deal, dude. Okay, maybe she is? Bro, you need to chill. Okay. Not as weird. <laughs> Oh, you bully. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, dude. Isn't everybody a little bit, though? Just a little bit. <laughs> Just a little bit. This, dude, this OP is an epileptic nightmare, dude. I don't hate the OP, though. I think the OP is pretty solid. Not gonna lie. I forgot to drink my coffee. Let's play again. What are they gonna play this time? Sen. Bye. Oh, she got to run, too. Oh. <laughs> I know what they gonna play again. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Dude, there's like a bench right there. Go play, go get in there. Go without me. <laughs> go on without me. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, he's getting sick, dude. He needs some miso and some tea. Look. Dude, she is literally just running out in the rain. Just like... Fuck an umbrella. Fuck anything, dude. Who cares? She doesn't put her bag over her. Nothing, bro. Dude, it's a good thing she got her bathing suit on, right? Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. If I had my bathing suit on, I would have probably just taken off all the clothing, put it in my bag, and just run around with a bathing suit. Dub, right? That's a dub. Then when you get, you can get under an area like this, put on your normal clothes, dry and warm. It's beautiful. It's like the best idea. Plus, she's carrying around a towel. She can dry herself off. Like, bro, that's a dub. Now she's going to tease him. <laughs> I love it when he reacts like that and he's like, Kiss. <laughs> he's lying. I'm an open perv. <laughs> Dude, just go for it. Like, look over at her and everything, bro. That's what she wants. Is he realizing it now? Oh, no, 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 he's getting the wrong idea. She's not wearing a swimsuit. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, nah. Nope. <laughs> That's what you get for teasing him all the time, dude. It's your own fault, Nagatoro. Oh, now she's got a new plan. Dude, stop being weird about it, dude. Oh, my God. Just don't be weird about it. Just fucking go with it, bro. She needs to get warm. You guys got to get close to each other. Have her sit on your lap, dude. Let's, let's give her a hug and warm her right up. <laughs> okay. That's my house, like, right there, bro. <laughs> this is my backyard. <laughs> you want to come to my crib? You want to slide through? Oh. <laughs> Mom and dad are home. Dang, dude. 
<laughs> That's how you imagine the family is okay, dude. Damn, they all bully him. No shot, dude. I bet her parents. I bet she's totally different around her parents. Bet money, she's different around her parents, bro. She's gonna be like nice and like. I bet, 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 bet. Oh, <gasps> ding! No shot. Wait, she went and did all that while he was just thinking of this. How did he not notice? Oh, okay, okay. Wait, but he's soaking. You might want to strip down, bro. Just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, she got a big brother? Oh, she got a big brother, bro. You better chill. <laughs> you better watch out, bro. How much big? He's going to step out like in the baggiest clothing, dude. Oh, she gave him a towel, too. Oh, my God, bro. What are you doing? Come on, bro. Don't snip. It's a clean towel. Oh, she's got you. She got you, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Why would you think that, bro? Why would she give you a wet towel? Like, what? It's weird, dude. <laughs> Is this coffee or tea? It's not that baggy. I thought the clothing would be baggier. Twice as sus, bro. Why are you so sus? A thousand percent first time in a girl's room. That's a secret. Stop playing, bro. You just spit your fucking drink everywhere. Come on, bro. Yeah, safe answer. I see you, bro. Nah, you should have like you should have like uh went full on and like freaked her out. Dude, I you can tell that the 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 guy that made this was a thousand percent making dojins before this. You can tell. Just, why would you say, bro, bro, dude, like, chill. I love that, dude. I love it when he does that. Dang, she got you again. <laughs> Yo, what is this, man? Dude, kick her ass, bro. Kick her ass. Nah, you gonna get your ass whooped. Nagatoro. Beat Nagatoro's ass, bro. My boy. Senpai, beat Nagatoro's ass. Good block, bro. Yeah, get shit on, Nagatoro. Get wrecked! <laughs> get wrecked, Nagatoro. This is what you deserve. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Get wrecked. You're trash, scrub. Fucking. <laughs> You're a casual. Get out of here. Yeah. Oh, flip it on her. Flip it on her. Just be like, <laughs> yeah, too bad you're garbage. Oh, oh, let her get like two hits in. Make her think she might win and then just kick her ass. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. <laughs> I knew this was going to happen, dude. Just the fact that it was like a cat. Huh? Really? That's all it takes? Is her like toying with you a little bit? He's still going to judge. Aw, oh, come on, bro. Why didn't you just block? Come on, you can use a battle strategy back, bro. Put your hand on her thigh or something. She'll be like, ah, and she'd fuck up, bro. Oh my God, put down your controller, do that to her. Oh my God, bro. You could easily dub. What is this? She's stepping on you. You gonna let her step on you like that? Oh, now she's so happy because she's beating you at the game, bro. But you could have got the dub. This was your chance to make her feel the way you felt so much. You could have got her crying. Oh, look at them. Oh, that's why it's let's play again. Okay. Uh, destroy. You, yeah, you cheated, bro. <laughs> Man, she got you, bro. If this is the end of the episode, I'm going to be heated. Oh, okay. Midpoint? It's good. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with the, like, the midpoint. We're good. We're good. Little uh, intermission. Give me another half of the episode. Beautiful. Dang. Everybody got friends except for you. Oh, he's gonna have to sit at Nagatoro's table? Oh, nah. Oh, this is the scene from the trailer where she's like, stay away from, he's mine. Watch, watch, watch. This is definitely the scene. Uh, nah, I'm good. I got my friends, um, over outside. <laughs> Dang, y'all are all bullies. Oh. Dang. Paizen? I love it when he talks like that, dude. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Nagatoro's not fucking with it, bro. Nagatoro's about to beat her ass, bro. Look at that. Nagatoro's like, you don't get to, bro. Mm-mm. That's my fucking mans. That's Nagatoro right now. Oh. No, bitch. Dang, she gonna fuck you up. Ah. Whoa. No, bitch. I told you no. I said no. <laughs> Keep your hands off my mans. Mm. She can tell. She's like, oh, I know Nagatora likes him. A bug. Damn, they all bullying him now? Ooh, Nagatoro standing up. Ooh, 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 I like this. But what? <laughs> but what, motherfucker, bro? Nah, but you like her is what you was going to say. Stop playing. True. You just don't. Oh, shit. Yeah, you got to give him a smack. Oh, ding. Imagine. Dude, is he going to slap her? He going to slap the shit out of her. Yeah, just be like, flick her in the fucking forehead. What the fuck you think you're calling a a uh, 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 scarecrow? Comedian, what? Dude, he's going to slap the shit out of her sometime. He's going. No, that's too much. Bro, he's going to break her nose, bro. Oh, my God. He's going to fucking slap the shit out of her. What a say! <laughs> there you go. Come on. Uppercut. Hmm. I can't. What? All she did was say he had a fluffy head and they should cut it. Wait, what's so wrong about it? He got some sort of issue with his hair? Yo, why she got Makima eyes? I don't fuck with that, bro. Oh, that's so weird. Dude, it's like she can't resist. Dude, he's going to KO her ass. Of course he hit her in the tit. Of course, bro. Couldn't just be something. Oh, my God. Of course. Good job. No, that's not a good job. Dang. Flipped it on him again, bro. Damn. It's good, though. It was good, man. It, you know, after the first part, I was like, yo, I don't want this to end. This is like a this is like a good episode. We got second half. We saw her stand up for my boy. I'm 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 fucking with it now. What happened basically? Uh we start off and there's this whole like swimsuit thing. He gets teased and she's like, she's wearing a swimsuit and he's he gets fucking flustered from it. Obviously. Typical. We see them running through the rain because it's like just pouring down outside. And they go under this like gazebo or something, I guess. I don't know. It's just it's like a little park, bro. Um, she teases him again and he thinks, oh, swimsuit. And he's like, I'm not gonna be tricked. And then show sure enough, not swimsuit, definitely underwear. He's like, oh fuck, I done messed up. And he lives farther than she does. So they decide to go to her house, you know, to kind of like dry off, whatever, wait out the rain. And she teases him some more. And he thinks like, he has this like little idea of how her parents would be. And they would just be like, really just her. <laughs> and they would tease him too. Like what? Why would they do that? They're grown ass people. Like why would they fucking tease you, bro? <laughs> like it's weird. Anyways, uh, they play this game and he smashes her, bro. Not in the way that you would think. I mean, though, this is probably going to go in that route eventually. But he does clap, dude. He he claps them cheeks and not in the way that you would think. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, yeah, he beats her. And then she's like, okay. I got an idea and she starts fucking with him a little bit when they're playing and it freaks him out and so she beats him. So she keeps on beating him through cheating methods, man. She's fucking cheating, bro. It's like it's like when, when you're like playing a game against somebody and they like put their hand on your controller while you're playing like, bro, 
You fucking cheated. I will put this controller through your fucking mouth right now. Try me. Try me. And then he goes home and, and he talks about like, it was, it was fun. I enjoyed it. And then I guess maybe next day or something? It's like a lunchtime sort of thing at school. And so she's with her friends and he's trying to find a place to eat lunch, but there ain't no place to eat lunch. And so she calls him over and he sits with her and her two friends and they all start bullying him again. Everybody's fucking bullying him. But this time is different, dude. Nagatoro gets a little bit jealous. She gets a little protective of her senpai. And so they're like, oh, it's so your boyfriend. And she's like, yeah. And they're like, ah, so funny. And then one of the friends puts her hand on his hand and it freaks him out. And Nagatoro is not about it, dude. She is, he you can see the expression she's making. She's like, you did not just fucking put your hand on my man's hand. That's my man's hands is. I own those hands because that's my man's. And then she's messing with him more and they, they call him a pet, right? And so he's she's like messing with his hair. And then that same girl that put the hand on the hand tries to reach over and touch the hair. And Nagatoro's like, no, bitch. No, this is my man's. What are you doing? No, you're not going to touch his hair. Um, Yeah, his hair's actually like really disgusting right now. Don't touch his hair. And she was like, oh, my bad. And they call him a slave, which is like, uh, okay, that's a little bit excessive. I don't, I don't know about that. Japanese culture, different than American culture. But yeah, they call him that. And then the girl tries to do something again. She like puts her hand out to try and, and then Nagatoro, um, bitch, I just said, don't touch him. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? She grabs her hand, stops her. So she's already slapped the hand, she grabbed the hand. She's like, no. That's my man's. Then they call him a bug. And, and she says, like, you can't be a guy. You can't be like that and be a man. Like, you're not a man if you're acting the way that you are, basically. And Nagatoro's like, the fuck did you just say? Why are you going so far? Why are you going so hard on my dog? And so she defends him. Dude, she's fucking mad. You can see, like, the sparks are flying between Nagatoro and her friend. And, like, they about to fade. Senpai stands up and he, like, shouts out. He's like... Nagatoro's not my girlfriend, but, and he just stops, dude. He just sits down, starts eating. Everybody's like, what the fuck, bro? And he said it loud, so like the whole entire cafeteria heard, Nagatoro's not my girlfriend, but. And then everybody's, and like the, the other girls are waiting like, but what, motherfucker? You can't just say, but, and then not finish it. So after lunch, they go back to the art class where he starts doing some more artwork. She's there, and she's like, listen, man, you gotta stand up for yourself, bro. And next time somebody talks some shit, hit him with a slap, be like, what does I? Yeah, she's like pissing him off a little bit. She keeps on going hard on it. She's like, you gotta do the slap thing. And uh, dude, when he imagined it, he was like, mm. but not, he, he didn't actually do that. So like when it, when it came to it and eventually he does give a slap, he like swings out, hits her in the tit. Of course, uh, of course, dude, uh, of course. And she's like, ah, and he's like, ah. And um, she calls him a perv. That's pretty much it. That's like the entire episode, basically. So we are starting to see that wholesomeness that everyone's telling me about. It's starting to come out a little bit. We see it because they start spending a little more time together, not just her bullying him, but them actually like having fun. Like they, I mean, there is still teasing, obviously. There's still plenty of teasing, not really bullying so much. She's not really bullying as much. Now she's teasing. The sort of stuff that she's doing is just like, yeah, teasing, man, she's teasing him. So it's it's not as much bullying as like, like the first episode was bullying. And the way that her, her friends were saying, like, like, you're not even a man, like, that's bully. You need to chill out. We do see that over time in this episode, she's defending him against her friends that are taking it a little too far. She's like, no, 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 no. And she's also showing a protective, like, sort of like a ownership, you know, like, she's, she doesn't want other people touching her mans, basically. And um, we see that happen multiple times. The one girl's, like, trying to touch him, and she's like, no, bitch. Um back up <laughs> that's my man's so that wholesomeness is starting to come out which is much more enjoyable there is a lot of comedy here that i am laughing at i would say that this might be the funniest of the series that i'm watching kumoko's got some funny moments i'd say kumoko's maybe still the funniest um combatants will be dispatched pretty funny at times but this this is funnier than a lot of the other ones osamake is pretty funny um yeah i would say that this one is maybe the funniest of the season that I'm watching right now. So from here, let me know what you thought of this episode. Where do you think this ranks as far as like comedies this season? Do you think it's 
up there? Do you think it's not really that funny? Do you enjoy the etchiness of it? The, you know, the teasing and all that? How do you feel about her finally standing up for her mans, basically? So more or less. And the wholesomeness. You getting that wholesome vibe that, that you know, that everyone's been talking about? Oh, it's, it's coming soon. I feel like that's already showing up a little bit. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one. I do anime episode reactions, manga chapter reviews, maybe some reactions for some manhwa and reviews on anime and manga when I catch up to or finish a series that I really enjoyed. So if that sounds like the type of content that you might be interested in, then please do subscribe to the channel. And until next time, Make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.